All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Lowrider Culture. Our guest today, she's camera shy, so <laughs> we're just gonna be staring at her car. Uh, we're here uh, for the car anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, it's just a joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, please tell us your name. Uh, Elena. Elena. Elena, thank you so much for making the time for us. Uh, you know, I know you said you went to sleep like at 2 in the morning and you're here <laughs> at 7 in the morning <laughs> Showing us your car. So thank you so much uh, And another thing, you know, I just want to say thank you so much for everything you've done for me uh, when I first started the uh, Instagram page uh, you were one of the first ones to start sharing uh, You know all the posts and stuff. So thank you so much. Uh, so I, I feel like uh, me being here is all you know, like all oh, thanks to you Yeah, no problem. Anytime Anything right. that puts us uh, out there, you know, our our cars and our people, or you know, our lowrider family, basically, it's always nice to see it out there. Awesome, man. Well, thank you. All right, uh, please tell us about your car. Uh, it's a 1962 uh, Chevy Impala. It's a four-door hardtop, which means it has no post. Um, but yeah, I got it about two two and a half years ago, probably. Yeah. Two and a half years ago? Yeah, or two years ago. Yeah. I I'll lose track. I lose track. But uh, yeah, I picked it up in Riverside from this cool guy, and he looked like he was, you know, sad to part ways with it, but I was pretty happy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just it started rolling from there, changed here, there, little things. But it was, yeah, it's still a work in progress, but it's, it's my patina. It's my patina, baby. Uh, so why uh, an Impala? Uh, my brothers, ever since I could remember, they always had Impalas. Uh, my brother Martin, he had a 68 Impala. It was uh, white way back in the day. And I don't know, it was just uh, something about it. Impalas, it's just something so nice and beautiful. They're classics. And my, my other brother Joe, he got a 62 Impala Super Sport. So it was their dream cars. When you're inside them, when you're looking at them, when they're cruising, they're just beautiful. Yes, they are. Uh, please tell us the name of your car club. Uh, I'm part of Function Car Club. Uh, it's the one and only chapter. It's I, we started it with my family and our family friends, and yeah, we just go with the flow, go wherever we want to go, and yeah, we're here based out of uh, Orange County. That's awesome. Uh, how long have you been a member? Uh, we started it on what, June, I believe, June of last year. So we're going one year. That's amazing. And what do you have to do to become a member? Um, it's basically we started it with the original a couple members and we just kind of brought our family friends in, you know, but uh, it's a really close-knit group and the way we see it is if we have to ask if you're you know if you'll fit then you you won't fit <laughs> it's more like a, if we have to think twice then you know that's probably not your club you know All but right. we whenever we picked our members we're like that's a given let's go and that's it yeah that's cool yeah so so you said you mentioned that your your brothers uh, all have low riders. Yeah. So is that what got you into the low rider culture? Definitely. Um, my brothers were always into cars. Um, my older brothers, and ever since then we used to cruise in them. I can remember since I was young cruising in the back seat, and my brothers just showed me the ways. Music way too loud. The <laughs> hydraulics, it was, you know, scraping everywhere on the floor. It was just. It's the way we live, and it was awesome. So what does the lowrider culture mean to you? Oh, it means everything. Uh, I always had an eye for old cars. My first one was a, a Nova. Oh, technically it was a Jeep, a 87 Jeep, but I trashed that car. Oh. <laughs> and uh, then I got a Nova, and I, I really fell in love with the old cars. And that one's, the Nova's my daily driver you know, to work and stuff, and I love it. And when I got myself this one, it was all about cruising, showing what you got no matter what you got. Man, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. All right, uh, let's, uh, let's talk about your car. Luckily got this car pretty intact. It was missing almost nothing. 
uh, we just tried to clean up as much as possible and keep everything the way it was. But like I said, luckily we found it and it was pretty complete. It was hardly missing anything. It needed work to the engine. Um, the old engine was bad, so we found a, better, a good engine. Uh, one of our club members actually, is, his name is uh, Marco. He, his uh, 64 Impala got stolen and uh, he actually was nice enough to just give me his new motor, the one that was supposed to go in his car. And he just told me, just keep driving your car. That's what it's all about. And that, that's how we you know, treat each other in, in our club. It's like family. And so I haven't, <laughs> it hasn't been down since. <laughs> But uh, yeah, the interior, we, I did the interior and the headliner and like I said, work in progress, but yeah, luckily everything was intact and everything was original in the car. Okay, I, I remember you mentioning something about the bumper, like is this one's like three piece or something like that? Yeah, so this is a three piece bumper. Um, it's original for the year and they make aftermarket ones that are called California bumpers that don't have it. That it's just one solid piece, but uh, I really wanted to keep it the way it was and hopefully just keep it, like I said, as OG as possible, especially with the patina. Right. So obviously, uh, I mean, I think this happened to me too. When I first saw your car, uh, the first thing in my mind was all like, when is she going to paint it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the rolling question all, all the time. No matter where I go, you get, 50% of people saying, don't touch it, don't paint it, it's beautiful. And then the other 50% is, okay, but really, when are you gonna paint it? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my, my answer is always the same. I, I don't wanna paint it. I wanna keep it like this as long as possible. Try to preserve its natural state um, and just keep a little bit of history. Cause I mean, people try to mimic the patina look and, and sometimes it looks awesome, but in the back of their mind, they know it's not you know 100% real they're just trying to make it look that way and I don't know I, I I thought about it a few times especially when I first bought it but it just started to grow on me and I was like nope it's gonna stay that way you know but there's uh, a couple of things here and there I'd like to fix but as long as I can keep it looking good I'm happy actually uh, I love it now I mean like now I understand like you trying to keep it this way and it makes more sense to me you know I, I really like the idea of keeping everything uh, original as possible yeah that, thank you yeah i i run into people all the time and they're they're just saying you know keep it that way and i'm like yes that's what i like to hear <laughs> <laughs> but you can't go wrong it's just just roll with with you what you got that's it uh can we talk about the inside of the car i know you mentioned that uh you you did uh all of the interior, or we we did the interior. Mm -hmm. Yep. My uh, when we were when we were first trying to get it out, we were actually doing it pretty fast. We were trying to get it to uh, a New Year's Day car show, and we had a very short window. And my brother Joe, he's a mass mechanic. My other brother Martin and my other brother Danny, they they all work on cars, so they you know we all just threw our hands in and started working on it as fast as possible, really. I ordered everything online, like the carpet, and uh, I took my seats to one of our friends, like our family friends, he does it out, you know, his garage, and I was like, how long, how fast can you do it? <laughs> and he said, give me a couple weeks, I was like, perfect. And so we were literally working on this car and everything, we were working at, on everything at the same time, and that's just the way it was going, it was going down. And uh, that's a really cool story, I really love that, you know, like, you doing that, doing the work yourself with your family mm -hmm. and friends, man. Uh, I love that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we've gotten help from, you know, people here and there. Even one of our friends, uh, his name is Edwin. He owns a 62. He, el he helped us uh, put in the, the windshield one because my original windshield was cracked and he helped us put it in. I just, I think I paid him in food or beer or something. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to take any money. He was just, he was cool about it. And, I mean, that's the kind of people you meet in this culture. You, they're just great people that you meet. I mean, I've met best friends and friends through this through this life, and it's amazing. It really is. Awesome. So you also m mentioned that uh, the engine. So you guys did everything, all the work, right? You, you got work, work the interior and the engine. Yep. And I remember seeing some pictures on Instagram. 
And I remember thinking that probably your car is more reliable than my Honda. <laughs> <laughs> well, it has its days, uh, just like any other car. Um, they all will leave you stranded eventually. That's just the name of the game. But uh, you just got to roll with it. it First thing I did when I bought an old car was invest in AAA with a bunch of tow mileage. <laughs> you're gonna use it, trust me. <laughs> so uh, sometimes it's a gamble when you go far, and sometimes I'm since it's still new to me a little bit, I get weary driving really far. But this one actually made it to Oceanside last year, and it's gonna go to Oceanside again this year. And uh, I mean, I'm, you just have to go for it. All right, uh, can you please tell us uh, where we are right now? Uh, we're at Larry's Pizza in Fullerton. And what happens here every Monday? Uh, we host or co-host a uh, car, like cruise night, I guess, car show, mini car show. It's just a free event that uh, Associated Car Club started um, about three years back. And they were kind enough to let us, you know, join forces with them to manage it and, you know, just chill with them. and. And it's uh, us, it's Function and Associated every Monday at Larry's Pizza for just a cruise night. It's a free event and we just want to make everybody feel comfortable. It's a family friendly place and the owner of Larry's Pizza, his name's John, he's a really cool dude and he supports us and we want to support him. So we try to come here every single Monday, no matter what, rain or shine, and just have a good time with our friends. Yeah, I mean, I remember coming here for my uh, my first Modelo Monday, and I was, uh, uh, well, like you can say I'm shy, so I didn't <laughs> talk to anybody, so I just came here, uh, took pictures and left. <laughs> but then, you know, I just, uh, I really liked uh, the atmosphere and everything. Uh, I only talked to a few people, I think, that day. I think it was your brother, mm -hmm. uh, what, the 67? Yeah, Martin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Martin. And... Uh, after that, I decided to come back, and uh, you know, I met you guys, and and you guys are awesome. You guys are really nice, and you know what? I'm gonna keep on coming back. Very cool. Uh, yeah, I remember when. I remember the first time uh, we saw the pictures, like the day after, or the that night, and we're like, wait, where, where, where's this guy coming from? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember seeing people take pictures. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it caught us off guard. We were like, cool. <laughs> But again, when we see anything like that, it just makes all of us just happy because we're putting this spot on the map and, and that, that's all we want. We want people to just come here and have a good time because the way we were treated, uh, the way Associated treated us when we came in, they immediately, like we knew them for years and they were just like family. My brothers have known Rick, which is Mad Dog and Ernie for years. Even my other brother, he knew Angel, which is another uh, you know, member of the club. and. And uh, they were, they go way back, so we just fit. And we always tell people we're like the same club with two plaques because we're just so close and we always ride together in each other's cars. And it's, I don't know, it just fit. So every Monday we get to catch up, even if we don't cruise on Saturday and Sunday, which we usually do. <laughs> we get to catch up on Monday and hang out with everybody. It's, it's just pretty cool. That's amazing. So, I actually I forgot to, to ask you about uh, you know the, your future future plans for the car. Uh, I, I know right now it's like everything's original. Are you planning on putting like bags or hydraulics? In uh, it? Yep. The next the next step is uh, airbags. Um, I gotta redo my uh, door panels, little stuff here and there. But airbags is definitely what I'd like to do. Just more upgrades, front disc brakes little things like that, that that make the car just smooth uh, but yeah just working its way up but it's uh it's it's a weird feeling because you don't I don't want to have the car down at all <laughs> like I don't want it to break down I don't want it to uh, to want it to stop rolling <laughs> I, I literally even a simple job I'm like oh that means I can't cruise this weekend you know right yeah <laughs> so stuff like that <laughs> Uh, what about your wheels? Are you planning on getting new wheels or you, do you like the original look? Uh, I like the original look. I just bought some new, new, new hubcaps for it, um, the original 62 hubcaps. And uh, I thought I was going to put them on today, but 
you know, two o'clock in the morning, I, I just couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, um, my brothers have always been trying to talk me into, you know, 13 inch Danes. And I'm like, it already rubs right now. I can only imagine. <laughs> I won't leave the, the speed bump. It'll just get stuck. <laughs> but yeah, maybe. I, the good thing about it is we could always switch back and forth. So one day you'll see it with some 13 inch Danes or <laughs> something like that. It's amazing. Yeah. All right, uh, any shout outs? Uh, like to, but about the car or about yeah. anybody? Well, Every, anybody. Or... I really have to thank everybody that's helped me with it. I mean, I have a bunch of friends and family that just, just helped me every step of the way, a little here, a little there. And it, it's literally, I thank them every time I turn on that car and it turns on. <laughs> but uh, my brothers for showing me that this is just amazing. This low rider life, you know? It, it's amazing. But uh, definitely a shout out to Associated uh, for you know bringing us in here to Larry's and so we can kick it every Monday. But uh, yeah, I think that kind of jump started everything for us because we started you know f hitting it full throttle once we started coming out here every Monday and it was pretty nice. Well, that's amazing. Well, like I said, uh, thank you so much for making the time for us. Definitely. I truly appreciate it. All right, guys, uh, this is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. And remember, if you are watching this, you are the Loretta Culture. <laughs>